Hi everybody. So this is my first official vlog and this was not how I intended my first vlog to go at all. Um, most of you who know me at all realize that I am not wearing any makeup. I have my hair up in a ponytail. Um, I'm basically wearing my pajamas, although this sweater here is not really pajamas. It's just that it's cold in my hotel room and I'm having trouble with temperature regulation. Um, but um, I wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. And I'm actually going to make two videos, all non makeup Um, This one is because I felt that the subject matter is so important to me that I didn't want to have anything hiding my face. And I know that sounds super dramatic, but you know, it's me. You'll get used to super dramatic. Um, so what I want to talk about is um, at Wizard World today, as my previous video talked about, it's I'm in San Jose. Um, I went to a pa panel this evening with um, James Abar, and he is the creator of The Crow. Um, James shared with us the truth behind what happened to Brandon Lee. And I am not going to share that with you um, on this public forum on YouTube where anyone can watch it. Um, I, If you are interested in what James told us, I will talk about it with you privately, um, but I am not going to put that on a public forum um, for a couple of reasons. One, because I don't want to. <laughs> And secondly, because um, out of respect for Brandon, um, out of respect for Mr. Obar for sharing that with us in this group, I have chosen not to do that. Um, there are other people who may have been taking video in that panel. It's very common at these cons for people to videotape stuff or videotape stuff. <laughs> it's not so old. Record things on their cell phone or whatever device. Um, it's very common. So it may come out in some other way. Um, so if you find it, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to hold it against you for searching for it. To be honest, I would be doing the same thing. But um, it has put me in a really interesting mood, in a place that I didn't think I was going to be. I had a list of, of a, a vlog that I wanted to make tonight, um, and it was all upbeat and happy and woo. But um, that's just not the place that I'm in after hearing Mr. Obar talk. Um, some positive things about The Crow. They are doing a new movie. It's going to be a page-for-page -page adaptation of the graphic novel. It sounds amazing. They um, are working very hard on it. It's been held up um, due to money, surprise, surprise. But uh, it is happening. And um, James is directly involved. He also talked about a new project that he's working on that's going to be kind of this neo-punk, goth, Western. It sounds incredibly crazy and amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. He's going to be most likely directing it and it'll probably be kind of independent and for those of us crazy fans, but it sounds really good. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about really quickly um, is that James did talk about um, some crazy rumors that I never picked up on, but the people who believe them are very adamant that these happened that this happened and they said that they cut some other actor into the crow um that there was this other person playing eric draven in some of the other shots and that they had an actual shot where brandon was dead um these people who who've told me this are very adamant that this happened um i talked to or i should say james touched on some of that briefly and um you know, as far as them having a shot of Brandon actually, like, dying in, in the film, um, that didn't come up. Um, I have a hard time believing that, but okay, fine. Um, I can let that go. What I have a problem with is that they claim that there's this big, like, race issue that, you know, people who see the movie are racist who don't f figure out that there's this other actor that takes over for Brandon. And, um... James Abar confirmed that that is not true. That J Brandon Lee was the only person who played Eric Draven in the Crow movie. So I don't know where those rumors came from. I don't know 
who came up with it. I don't know if maybe the makeup guy did a shitty job one day, and so people think it looks like it's not Brandon. I, I have no idea. Brandon did complete the movie. Brandon died filming the last scene involving guns. They were able to use other scenes that they had made to cut together the end of the movie that they needed to shoot with Brandon um, after he passed away. There's no other actor in that movie playing Eric Draven. I have no idea where that came from, but it's not true. Per James O'Barr. I don't know who else you can possibly believe other than the man who was there, who wrote it. Uh, anyway, it's not true. So, um, I'm going to finish this up pretty quickly because I don't want to make these videos like 20 minutes long, though I could. Um, so the last thing I wanted to talk about was that this conversation that we had about Brandon's death affected me a lot, partly because I loved Brandon and I thought he was an incredible actor and I felt um, very deeply touched um, by his story and um, The Crow is in an incredibly emotional film and graphic novel for me. Um, his death should not have happened. It didn't need to happen. Um, he, um, should still be here. And I wish that he was. And that got me thinking that there's a lot of people who I wish were still here. And... You know, here I am, sitting alone in a hotel room, and um, I just wanted to say and make this video as real as it could be um, and tell you for my first vlog that the theme is to please tell the people that you love how much you love them. Um, and that includes people who affect your life in ways that... Um, are not your family, um, you know, write an email, tweet, comment, um, your celebrities that affect you. Um, I never got to meet Brandon and I wish I would have, but, um, the celebrities that I have met, um, I have really tried to thank them. Um, I still have some thank yous that need to happen, um, but tonight I was able to shake James O'Barr's hand and thank him for his impact on my life with his graphic novel and his openness of his pain that created the crow. Um, I still have, like I said, some thank yous. Um, I was able to thank Shannon Leto, but I didn't get to thank Tomo and Jared, um, but I will. <laughs> Hopefully at Camp Mars next year, yay. Um, God. But honestly, um, just stop spreading all the hate, all the negativity. We've got enough of that. And instead, use that energy to tell people how you feel about them um, in a loving way. Tell people that you love them. Um, tell people what they mean to you. Because you never know when the last time you'll see them is going to be. And um, so I love you all. Um, thank you. And I'm sorry that this video turned out this way. This was not my intention. So, um, but that's what happened. And this is how this is going to go. Um, just like my blog is, it's just going to be real and it's just going to be me and, um, no makeup and crying, which is very much me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody.